Hello, and welcome to Better Life Today with Pastor Terrence Ellison. Get ready for an explosive word for your life so that you can have a BLT. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not being conceited when I say my hair is pretty. My eyes, glory to God, hallelujah, hallelujah, are full of light. I got a beautiful complexion. I got a smile huh, that'll melt your heart. <laughs> I'm, not trying, I'm not trying to be conceited. I'm, I'm enjoying what God made me. Come on. Mm. I'm not changing, glory to God, the stuff that God gave me. Now I'm going to change the stuff that I messed up. <laughs> That's right, Mel. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> But we ain't going to tell them that. Amen. <laughs> See? And so, and when we start changing stuff, because we don't want to stay on track. Mm -hmm. But it's on track where you're going to really find peace. Amen. It's on track where all of a sudden real joy is coming. It's on track where you, you get up in the morning and you, and you enjoy getting up. People start changing stuff. Because when they get up in the morning, they don't enjoy. The world that they have created. But just because you hit a pitfall does not mean that you're supposed to go around it. It means you're supposed to go through it. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Come on, give them praise. It means you're supposed to what? Go through it. Pastor, how do I go through something, something that seems like there is no answer for. That's where the author gets up. The author comes and says, I got you. You remember the part where he says, look to Jesus? See, when you get into pitfalls, you're supposed to look to him. Here comes the author. Come here, author. And the author says, I understand the pitfall. Don't go around. Look to me. When you start looking at me, what, what does the author do? Come on. Start moving them. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He moves. He starts moving the pitfalls. See, watch this. That's what it's designed for. The pitfall is so that you can keep your eyes on him. That's why he got the pitfall there. Glory to God. So that you don't get a big head. Mm. And if you don't think it's all about you and you don't think that you can do it, glory to God. So I made it difficult. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gave you some difficult parents. Maybe I gave you a parent that wasn't where they should be. That's OK. D look to what? Me. Maybe watch this now that I've gotten older and, and there's some situations that happen. Listen, I know that situation happened, but I need you to what? Look to me. See, when you come into a pitfall, that doesn't mean that you manufacture your way out. You now have has to look to him because he has the plan. He's got the plan because he wrote the plan. Oh. And here's what the Bible says. Here's what it says. Here's what it says, Caleb. You ready for this? He says, I know the end from the beginning. Y'all didn't even catch that. Did you catch that, Nicolette? Did you catch it? No, you didn't catch it. He said, I know the end. Do you know what that means? Did anybody know what that means? What, what, what does it mean? That means, watch this. You see, when he started, he didn't start at the beginning. That's why he said, I finished it. He started at the end of your story. And he worked his way to the beginning. That's why he already knows every pitfall. And knows how to get out of it because he started at the end of the story and worked his way to the beginning of the story. My God. My God. He worked his way what? Backwards. 
So that's why God is never tripping. He's in a boat going, going ah, the storm. Ah! He's like, I'm sleeping because I've already been there. I went up to the end of the story and I worked my way what? back. Pastor, he knew what I was going to go through. Yep. He knew that sickness was going to hit my body. Yep. He knew that car was going to hit me. Yep. He knew that situation was going to happen. Yep. Because I worked my way back. But guess what? He's like, I know how to get you out of every pitfall that you have went through. Glory to God. That's why I need you to look at me. Mm. Mm. So when he said he what finished it because he went to the end and then he came to the start so that you can go from the start so you can go to the end. Come on, give him praise. Come, yo. That's good news. I don't know about y'all, but that's good news. <laughs> that's good news Whew. pastor why is that good news because no matter what the problem is there's a way out no matter what happens there's a way to escape it no matter what comes my way <laughs> glory to God I can overcome it glory to hallelujah I don't go around it but I go what through it because I got Jesus and Jesus is going to show me how to get through every situation. He is going to show me how to get through it. Glory to God. He is going to show me. All I got to do is keep my eyes on him. Hallelujah. And he's going to show me how to get through every situation. Oh my God. You can throw whatever you want to throw at me. Bless God. Because as long as I got King Jesus. Jesus, glory to God, is going to bring me through that thing. So I got to keep my eyes on him. I can't go around. Hallelujah. I can't endure. Bless God. But I got to keep my eyes. I got, I, got, I got this thing to say. Stop trying to change the game. You, you, did they catch that, Gerald? Stop trying to change the game. They, they didn't get it yet. I know y'all didn't. Stop trying to change your circumstance. You're not called to change your circumstance. Pastor, what do I do? I turn my eyes to Jesus. And I say, Jesus, you finished it. You finished it. So I turn my eyes to you. You finished it. Glory to God. You finished it. He finished it. And because he finished it, and it's your book that you wrote for me. So my eyes got to turn to you. Don't you turn and put your eyes on the pitfall. You keep your eyes on Jesus. Pastor, how do I keep my eyes on Jesus? This is how you keep your eyes. You keep your eyes on. What you say? What you say? Man of God, you don't understand. I'm in this wheelchair. You don't get it. I'm blind. You don't understand. I don't have enough money to feed my kids. You don't get this. Mm. But what the word say? Mm. What did the preacher tell you? Mm. Many are the affliction of the righteous. But, oh glory to God, the Lord has delivered them out of them all. He didn't say some. He said what? All. He didn't say a few. He said what? For every problem, there is a solution. For every pitfall, 
there's a ladder up out of it. Glory to God. And Jesus is the one who wrote the book so he knows where every ladder is. He knows where every solution is. And all your assignment is is to find out what did he write in my book to get out of this situation. Come on, give him praise. Come on, give him praise. Come on, give him praise. I got one more point to give you. I got one more point. Here it is. I got one more point. When I say, or when the Bible says, look to him, here's what you're supposed to do. Ask. And he said, I'll give it. Matter of fact, the translation says, keep on asking until he gives. He said, if the asking isn't enough, guess what you're supposed to do? Seek. And keep on what? Seek it. And if that's not good enough, he said, what? Nah. And he said, I'm going to open that door. See, in other words, your responsibility by looking, on, looking to Jesus is to ask. How many times do you get in a problem and you stop and say, let me ask? But you go to start and trying to work that thing out. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. How many times? How many times? How many times? You get into a pitfall. Is this a situation? And you stop seeking. You don't even seek it out. Come on now. Whew, glory to God. See, that's how you keep your eyes on him. But you don't ask. You don't seek. You go around and do your own thing. You don't knock. Because you go ahead and do your own thing. And then when it all blows up in your face, you come back to him and say, you know why it blew up in your face? Because you got off script. And then you come back and you be like, Jesus. But you know what's so wonderful about him? He don't turn you away. Because see, if that was some of us, we'd be like, now why you get off script? I told you I wrote it and I got everything for you and you coming back to me. I'm, look, you need to keep it moving. But Jesus don't do that. Glory to God. He said, come on back, come on back. I know, I understand, I get it, I get it. He like, come on back, come on back, come on back, come on back. Isn't that awesome, y'all? I mean, that's, that's, that's the God we, can, we serve, that when we get off the script and we come back, he takes us back. Whatever head by your eye.